getting off track. Yeah. So go to the, 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 that, that first long phone call on Monday night was, I think when he told me that, I don't think he told me that in the FaceTime text, I mean in the FaceTime conversation, I think he told me that in the first conversation. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute, let's talk about that. So what does this mean? This means that the messages that everybody has been confused and unaware have existed, have existed technically, but under encryption from end to end encryption. That means nobody but the sender and the receiver has access to those messages meaning outside of her being on her phone she could easily go delete wipe out anything from her my my messages from any other phone or tablet just by typing in her phone number and her iCloud password and as you can see in her conversation with Kobach she was fully aware that's why she took back what she said when she said in the FaceTime text, I mean in the FaceTime conversation, because she didn't want him to look further into it. And him not being as tech savvy as most young people are, had no idea what she was even confessing to in those exact mess in those exact words that she used. So what does this mean for the future of this investigation? This means we still have a lot of work to do. It just makes it a lot harder. Because we're going to have to work around the fact that we will never have access to those messages if they're even existing at this point in time. Which I highly doubt that they are. <clears throat> and those messages might be deleted. And I don't mean to sound like a certain detective on this case. Not a real detective, but, you know, back road detective. But online it states that those messages might be deleted, but the metadata is still there. Meaning any photos sent or received that would have had to connect through the service of the actual phone company are still going to be there. Hence why his messages or why his phone content includes pictures that were never sent but were still stuck inside of his phone. That's the metadata. 
it still shows the people that you're connected to. She's already admitted to having him on FaceTime. She's already researched. Probably just as much as I have on this phone. Uh, encryption. They just didn't put that in the files. They didn't think that was probably important. She probably deleted that too. Most of it. So as of right now, we still have a lot of work to do. And I'm not done doing it. This just gives me more of an intense urge to find the truth. Unlike the people that really were investigating this case, this is not a roadblock. This is just another coincidence, aka consistency, in this case. It coincides with the theory of her being involved.